Hey guys, how's it going? Tiger Shu here with Pacific Room Video, and we're here at the Asians on Film Festival with Simon Tu. Now, Simon, what brings you to Asians on Film today? Well, I just got invited because um, Scott knew that I was in town, and um, I won as a Best Actor Award here like many, many years ago, but I never got a chance to show up, so now I'm here. <laughs> I, was I remember I was shooting uh, Taiwanese soap opera or something back then, so... Um, yeah, I'm excited, and I'm all about uh, supporting like Asians on film because I feel like we're underrepresented. Well, you know, welcome back, and we know you've been killing it in Asia. So, can you tell us a little bit, you know, the differences of, you know, working out in China, working out in Taiwan, now being back in the United States, and you know everything that's changed. You know, I love working like in different places because you learn so much. Um, just the culture-wise, like you see different types of people, um, but it's a completely different world. I'm serious; it's a completely different world. But um. It's, uh, I don't know about killing it, but um, I, I'm really honored and pleasured to have worked with um, many great people out there, and um, I learned a lot. Um, like this year, we have two films coming out. One with uh, Ning Hao's film, it's called A Sweet Life. And um, it's, uh, we got to work with like Chen Han from um, Ghost in the Shell, the Asian guy, <laughs> the big, big brother, and, um, and uh, Drew Drew from Marco Polo, and et cetera. Great cast. And then another film that's also coming out about football is uh, it's called Magic Seven um, because it's World Cup, so you know it's, it's coming out this year. Um, we have like um, um, uh, we have oh Eric. Too many projects to list. You're just a busy man. No, right? it's it's fun. It's so much fun. Like I love working with different people. Like you learn so much from everyone. And hopefully we'll get a chance to work together, right, Tiger? Well, yeah. Well, uh, a little funny story. We kind of run in the same circles, and we always hear great things about. This is the first time meeting him. So our first time meeting him, first time on an interview. So it's a great way. So you know now that you're back in the states. How important is it to have Asian representation? You've, China's growing, America's growing now and changing. What does it look like in the landscape? You know, I feel like Asian representation is more important now because population went from like 3% to 6% in the U.S. And um, Asia, you know, we have a lot more projects going on. Like even Bollywood has a lot, right? And China has a lot of projects going every year. And um, I feel like it's, it's a movement. It's a movement that... We want to express ourselves, you know. We don't want to just sit there and just like um, being the soft, you know, minority, nerdy Asian, you know. That's not the stereotype in because there are actually a lot of personalities amongst ourselves. And so I, I really wish one day we'll get a chance to just fight for what we believe in and really stand out and the Western world will actually appreciate that and see it. So what can we uh, see you now in 2018? What projects can we look out for you? Um, well, I'm talking about a few projects, some web series, um, but I can't really say much about it yet. One of them is mocap related, so I'm really excited about that. Um, but we'll see what happens. And where can we follow you on social media? Um, so I have a Facebook account. It's just Simon2, T-W-U. Just remember, like, two, but with a U. And then um, also Simon Tu Shiming on Weibo. That's in China if you guys work that international man of talents here, right here. So thank you so much, appreciate it, and best of luck in 2018. Yeah, thank you so thanks much. So much.